Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the what and the how series of UiPath. In this series, I am trying to answer the queries which I have received over the email, over my chats or over the video comments. This is the second video on the series and let us see the agenda. Today, I am going to cover something which is called string null or string white space. So what is the query here? Whenever we are writing any automation, there are places we have to compare the strings. We have to check if the string is empty. We have to check if it is a white space or sometime we have to check both. Now the question is how actually we can decide when to use what. This question I have received in my comments. So I just wanted to cover that. In case you also have a query which you want me to cover in this series, feel free to drop a comment or write an email on the email ID which is mentioned in the description as well as on the slide. So let's get started. Okay, so on my screen, I have got four variables. Now the four variables are null string, empty string, white space string and a non empty string. These are the name of the variables which we are going to create in the UI path. Now, whenever we are doing a string manipulation, I can have a value which is having null, right? I can have a string which is initialized, but it is empty, which means it is string dot empty. I can have a string which is having a value, but it is coming at a white space, right? Or I can have a normal variable string where I have some value. For example, in this case, I have just mentioned my channel name tutorials by Mukesh Kala, right? So these are the some of the values which we can have in the string variables. Now. For the third one, when I say white spaces, it includes all the characters which are not visible on the screen. For example, if I take a string and I put five spaces, you would not be able to see. If I put a line break, if I put a tab, right, all of these are covered in the white space characters. Even the empty strings are also considered in the white space string, right? So for this example, we are considering four variants of string null string, empty string, white space string and non empty string. Moving forward, whenever we are doing the programming, I have two options. The first one is called the is null or empty and the second one is called the is null or white space. Now the question which we are trying to answer here is that how would a developer know when to use is null or empty or when to use is null or white space. To answer the question, let us go back to UiPath Studio and understand the same with the help of a practical examination. I am back in my UiPath Studio and I have created a normal sequence. The name of the sequence is string null or empty. That is the topic for today. I'll go to the variables and if you could notice that I have already created the four variables. All the variables are of type string, null string, empty string, white space string and the non empty string. And if you notice at the values, these are the same values which we were talking at during the presentation, right? So the null string is having nothing empty string, which means the variable is created and it has got a value which is empty. White space string means that it can have any number of white spaces like this. I have just added some more white spaces, right? And non empty string is just like a normal string, right? Okay. Now let us see when exactly should I use the null or empty and when should I use the null or white space. Now for some of the cases in the null string, you could also use something like this, which is called the nothing, which means that it is initialized with nothing, right? So this would be also treated as a null string, right? Any which ways you can use. To start with, let me go here and take a if condition, okay? So I'll drag and drop the if condition here. Now in the if condition, there are two parts. One is if and one is the else, right? So I'll just go here and I will use a right line. I'll drag and drop the right line here. And I will say that this is the true block. And I'll just copy this and this is my false block. Okay. So as far as we have just configured this one. So this if the first thing which we are going to do, we are going to do this for is null or empty right so first we are going to explore the property which is called is null or empty now what is the condition so this sequence will execute if the condition is true 
right so we have done nothing but we have only specified a right line which says true and this block will execute if the condition is false right now I have to write the condition as we have just seen the first one which we are going to explore is the null or empty right so what I am going to do here I am simply going to write a string right dot is null or empty right so this is the first function which actually check if the string is null or empty so what we are going to do here we are going to pass all these variables one by one and analyze whether we are getting a true or whether we are getting a false right as an audience you can always pause the video and let me know in the comments the whether you guessed the answer correct or not okay so the first thing string null or empty and we are going to pass the first variable the first variable is called the null string right so i just simply pass the variable here which is called the null string okay now we are telling you ipad that i have a variable whose value is null and i want you to check whether it is null or empty right let us check the variable first okay is my variable null yes the condition would be true so how do I read this condition is null or empty right whether this string is null or empty so if you go to the variables you could notice that yes this is null so that means if I execute this program I should get an output of true right so I go here and I simply say run the file and in the output you could see that I was able to get an option of true that means that this variable of null and empty is true right now let us check with the second one which is called the empty string so instead of this null string i am simply going to replace it with the empty string right this is my scenario number two so let me know in the comments what do you think i'll get a true or a false for a scenario number two right so i'll just save this and i'm checking that if this is null or empty right so is it null or empty so if you will see this is an empty string and the value is string dot empty let me save this go ahead and i say run the file scenario number two where we are checking for an empty string and in the output i could see that yes it is true that means uipath is telling me that the empty string which means string dot empty qualifies for the string is null or empty right now the third thing a white space string right so i just go here and instead of this empty string i just type here white space string let me save this right now what is the expectation here we are checking whether the white space string which is this one is null or empty right let us save this go here and run the file okay we'll just wait for the execution this is my scenario number three and the output is a false right which means uipath is telling me this is not null and this is not empty right because this is a white space right so is null or empty has given false for this one which is called white space so how do we read the condition is it null no is it a empty no it is a white space that is why it went to the false block right i hope you guess this answer correctly and the last one is a non-empty string so i just go here and change it to the non-empty string save this go here and run the file right now i am telling you i part to check whether it is null or empty for a string which is having some value right it could be any value for that matter now in the output you could see that i have got a false which means that uipath is telling me that this string which is called the non-empty string is neither null nor empty right so that is how you check for null or empty right so these are the scenario number one two three and four let me know in the comments how many you got correct now i hope you understand how exactly the is null or empty works i quickly want to show you one more thing in the null string if i simply go and type nothing here okay and instead of this i just pass here the null string now this also qualifies for the null or empty right so i go here and i say run the file okay and if you go to the output you could notice the value is true right so that means that nothing also qualifies for string null or empty right 
So based on the value which you get on your input string, you can decide whether I need to use is null or empty or not. Okay. Moving forward, let us see how exactly the null or white space work. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just make a copy of this guy like this. Okay. I'll disable one. Okay. I'll just hit control plus D that will disable this one. I'll go and change its name to is null or white space. Okay. That is the second variant which we wanted to see. Right. And in here, instead of is null or empty, we just type here string dot is null or white space. Right. So the first one we have already seen. The next variant we are going to see is called the string null or white space. Just select this and the same concept we are going to pass all of these values one by one. Right. So for me, this is scenario number uh, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Right. I want you to write down in the comments that what I'll get for 6, 7, 8 and 9. Right. So right now I'm executing scenario number 6. Right. String is null or white space for the null string. Okay. Now we are telling UiPath to check whether this value is null or a white space. Right. So the value is nothing. Let me save this scenario number 6. Go ahead and I say run the file. Okay, let us see what exactly we get and in the output you could see that I am getting a value of true which means that UiPath is telling me that yes this value whichever you have passed qualifies for the null. The second one is the empty string scenario number 7. I just go here and I pass empty string. Save this. Now I am telling UiPath to check whether this empty string is null or a white space the value string dot empty right now let me know in the comments for the scenario number seven you are expecting a true or a false right i go here and i simply say run the file okay we'll just wait for the execution and the answer is true in case you guess the answer correctly you are awesome but in case you got the answer as false so now let me tell you why exactly this is coming as true because the null or white space of the string has a property to take care of the empty strings as well. Okay. The name says it's null or white space. However, if the string is empty string, null or white space can take care of the empty strings as well. Okay. So if we'll go to the output, you would notice that I have got the value of true. Okay. Now for the next one, which is a white space string, right? So instead of this one, I'm just passing the white space string. Let's go here and say run the file. Now we are telling UiPath to check whether it is a null or a white space, right? So if you would see that I have got a lot of white spaces here, let me go to the output and it says true. It is saying, yes, the input which you have ever passed is qualifying for the white spaces, right? It has got a lot of white spaces. The last one, which is called a non empty string, right? So I just go here and I say non empty string. Save this, go here and run the file. Now for the non empty string, what would happen? The answer should be false because I have got some value which is neither null or nor it is a white space. That is why we have got a value of false, right? So that is how the string null or white spaces work. Okay, now that you understand the null and the white space, let me go here and create a variable which I call str underscore input. Now this str underscore input can be any variable which I have got by scraping the data from a website, which I have got from the queues, which I have got during the string manipulation or anything, right? Before I use this value and I do not want to get a null reference exception, I want to validate whether this is correct or not, right? So how we can do it? So all you have to do is just drag and drop an effectivity here. And in here, you just say string dot is null or empty. I am telling you our part to check whether the input, whichever you have received is not null or not empty or string dot is null or white space and I just pass here like this, right? 
so i am telling you a part to check for the input that it is not null it is not empty and it is not a white space if any of the condition is true that means my string is not having any value right and if this condition is false which means this part that means that i can actually write the next piece of automation right so a good way would be to use string dot is null or empty or null or white spaces but in case you are very much confident that you are only going to get a white space or you are only going to get a null or empty you are free to use any one of them right but using both also will not make any harm okay coming back to the presentation i quickly want to summarize whatever we have seen right so these are the four variables we have just created null string empty string white space string and the non empty string the first four indicates the null or the empty function right where we are checking for the null string right so is null or empty yes this is true is null or empty yes this is true for the empty string right it is true the next one which is for the null or empty for the white space right so the white space does not qualify for the null or empty so that's why it is giving as false the fourth one was the non empty string where we have given some value right so this is neither null nor empty so that is why it is coming as false right so this is the quick summarization of is null or empty the next four are the summarization of null or the white space which simply means that check if it is null or white space the first input was null string which is this right so that's why it is true the second one was it's null or white space right and the input was empty string now you would notice that here it has come as true right if you are expecting the false then you are a bit incorrect here because the null or white space is actually able to cater the empty string as well right why that is so because if you remember here we have mentioned the term white space includes all the characters which includes space line breaks tabs and the empty strings as well right so that is why for this one which says is null or white space for the white space string which is this one you are actually getting that is why for this one the second one is null or white space for the empty string which is string dot empty you are getting the value of true the third one is null or white space for the white space string which is this guy yes this is true because this is a white space and for the last one which is a obvious one this is not null not a white space so that is why it is a non empty string and we are getting a value of false right so depending on your requirement and what value you are getting as an input you can choose to use is null or empty or is null or white space or you can simply use a or function as we have seen right so now i hope you understand the both of them and when to use what in case you have any more questions you can always feel free to drop me a note on the email id which is mentioned in the description or you have a question which you want to get answered in this series feel free to drop me a email okay so that is all for this video i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching i hope you found this video insightful and now you understand when to use word if that is the case please do like this video subscribe to the channel and happy automation